Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to have a fun fall day. I wanted to start off by showing you guys some Halloween decor that I decided to put into my guest bathroom. I put out some of my um, Dollar Tree crafts and I went ahead and put up the shower curtain. I love it, I got it at Ross Dress for Less and it's very fun and Halloween inspired. So I am doing like a deep clean of my house. I'm doing a lot of organizing and as I'm doing it, I thought it was a good day to exfoliate. And what I did was I exfoliated my skin really, really well. And then I put a early nice layer of um, marula oil all over my face. And I'm just gonna let that soak in. I've got it on my neck here. And I'm gonna continue doing my cleaning. So I do this quite often, about once or twice a week. I love it. I just put it in there. I let it soak in and just really get the skin nice and moisturized. And this one's my go-to. I always just pick up the um, Trader Joe's Marula Oil. It's great. And I think it's $7.99. We're going to get back to deep cleaning right now and just let our skin or let my skin feel good and moisturized. Now I know that laundry detergent is not exciting, but this one is exciting and I found it at Grocery Outlet. I've actually repurchased it twice. This is the Gain Botanicals Orange Blossom Vanilla. It smells so good. It does have like, it kind of has a fall scent to it in a way because it has that vanilla and it just makes your laundry smell so amazing. I just washed our sheets and apparently and our someone thinks it, it smells nice and got right into my bed. <laughs> So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm doing a pantry remodel. Well, I'm not doing it, my husband's doing it. So we actually created this space. We are doing it little by little, just when we have time. Um, I think we're coming up on day nine. So do follow my shorts. And when I'm all done with this pantry, I'm gonna do like a huge haul and I'll do everything in one big video. You know, one of the greatest things about having a YouTube channel is looking back throughout the years and seeing all of the projects that we've been doing in this house. Um, so many things always going on. Right now, this is the current state of our guest room. We're remodeling that as well, and it's kind of become a storage unit. So there's things everywhere. Finally heading out of the house. Well, there I am. Finally heading out of the house. Um, outfit of the day. <laughs> Nobody cares. Is this really cute black tie front shirt. I found this when we went to Peru. A skirt that I think is very fall and fun and... Yeah, I think this goes good together. I like to take this bag because I can put my groceries in there. It's fun, it's very, it's fabulous, and it has a little But before I go, I'm gonna have size. one more cup of coffee and a little bit of creamer. First stop was Aldi. I did notice they had some throws, some really cozy ones, like this leopard print one. They had these neat ceramic storage containers and they had different colors. Very cool. And then they also had um, some bourbon and wild mint candles and then some very beautiful, unique looking, very fall inspired candles over here. These were more textured and they were only $7.99. They also had a very neat variety of tablecloths by Huntington Home. And then <laughs> that was hard to get out. And I love Aldi for the fact that they always have random items. They had this um, fry pan set. They had this paper rope lamp, which was really cool. And then they had like a variety of little placemats and different pumpkins. They had a little bit of stuff out, but not a ton of fall inspired things quite yet. Um, so I'm gonna check back in like a week or so. They did have some neat diffusers. These were $2.99 and they had some flameless LED candle sets. They also had an amazing variety of wax melts. I believe these were $1.99 each. And they did have some cozy soups. They had some pumpkin maple bisque and some harvest potato. Good morning. So many plans for today. <laughs> I'm out here just oh, doing a little, doing a little run. Got my shoes on, animal print and animal print. Playing with the dogs a little bit. Playing with the dogs. Yeah. I'm gonna start my morning with my usual. So I have a lot of videos about this Well Bedex Berberine, how much I love taking Berberine. I have a whole series about it. I'm gonna create a playlist for you guys. I'm 42 years old, got some perimenopause symptoms happening, um, deal with a little bit of anxiety from time to time. So this is a really great product. Having my water this morning and I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some oatmeal. Always my go-to. I like this lower sugar Quaker and this one's cinnamon and spice, but I usually just get the variety pack. I think there's 
brown sugar, cinnamon and spice, and apple cinnamon. So yeah, that's what I'm having for breakfast today. I'm gonna eat this yummy oatmeal and then I am going to take a shower and I've got a lot of stuff to do today so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Workout done, got some more organization happening around here today. We are coming into, just like everybody else, we're coming into the school season. So I have a list of items I need to get from the store. So on these note cards here, I've written down a few ideas for recipes for the week because with school being back in session, um, and I just wanna say that I do a partial homeschool situation. So my son is now going to be, since he's in high school, in school three days per week, per week and home two days per week. Prior, it was two days a week in school and three days home. And I don't really want to go into a lot of the details just for privacy reasons, but that is how we school. So I want to get really prepared for high school and I want to start getting some freezer meals done. Now, I am not a super great cook. I can do some mean crock pot dishes. I do love making desserts and pies and things like that. But sometimes I have a hard time kind of getting my meal prep together. Now, I do want to say I have a Southern mama. <laughs> she was born and raised in Burnt Corn, Alabama. Um, she lived on a huge farm. My granddaddy and my grandma um, ran a store on their property on a huge farm. Um, my grandma cooked everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner from scratch, um, you know, so I should be better at this. I have it in my jeans. So I'm just not that organized with meal prep. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a taco recipe just on a pan, put one in the freezer. I'm also gonna try this one. Um, it's a stove top stuffing chicken crock pot recipe. I don't know if I'm gonna make all of these in this vlog, but it'll be in another vlog. And then what else do I have on here? Um, I have a crock pot, just beef chuck roast, um, kind of sandwich type of situation with some pepperoncinis. So this will at least be four nights worth of food. So I'm going to go to Walmart today. I'm going to go back to Aldi today because I actually bought a straightener from there. They had a lot of random products and I tried it this morning and it was not worth the $12.99. <laughs> that is a cheap price, but the straightener all in all was not a good deal. Um, I also need to go to Marshall's and just got some stuff to do. So if that sounds good to you, let's get going. As I'm walking by, I wanted to show you my wreath. If you don't follow my Dollar Tree DIYs or any of my crafting videos, this one was really fun. I did this a couple weeks back and this was a thrifted wreath and I just gave it like a little mini haul and I think it came out so pretty. Okay, I thought this was a nice nail moment. I did my nails the other day. I just got some Kiss press on. I think these are the Halloween edition um, and they're the coffin shape. I cut them down a little bit and then I'm wearing my white animal print ring. About this car really quickly. I do have a whole vlog about us getting the Tesla um, and about why we did it. Um, so we do live a little bit further out of town. My son does go in person to school as I was mentioning uh, about it takes me about 35 30 ish minutes to drive there. I usually drive home and then I go back to pick him up and then we drive home. So that's, you know, that can get up there two hours a day of driving, right? And that's not including if I have to do other errands and things like that. So the Tesla was a perfect purchase. It saves us so much money. And the reason why it works is that we do have a full solar panel unit. We have a huge unit that we had installed about four years ago um, when we purchased our property. We live on two and a half acres. We have 40 maybe 50 mature avocado trees. I don't know. I haven't gone down there and counted. My husband's in charge of all of that. I just go down and pick. Um, so we also are on a well. So we're, we're pretty much self-sustainable at this current moment. Um, and we have two Tesla power walls. So we really don't pay anything. We pay nothing. We're getting so many credits back um, each month on our pg and &E bill. Um, and we pay nothing in gas. So this has been a huge, huge game changer and has been so important um, for us moving to where we move to. We just charge it every single night. Um, it truly has been a great way for us to save money. Um, if you're interested in seeing that whole process of how we got the Tesla, the power walls, the solar panel unit, I will link it in the description box. So I just got to Grocery Outlet. I'm gonna go in there and see what they have. Um, I got a nice boxed hair color. I've been, I do have naturally dark hair, but I've been getting um, a lot of gray. So I just wanted to go pick up another box of that. And I think I'm gonna walk over to Starbucks and get a Starbucks and treat myself today.
As I walked into Grocery Outlet, I saw that they had a ton of fall themed items out already. They had some adorable pumpkins, some scarecrows. They had these really neat LED light up bottles and this candle it was $12.99. It smelled amazing. Sometimes you find candles that aren't that great. This one was pumpkin spice and it was an originally like a $25 candle. They had so many neat things. I had a hard time containing myself, but I actually did see these and I've purchased them before. They're shower bombs. So you just drop them at the bottom of your shower and it releases like this nice steam. This one was lavender scent and they're only 99 cents. So I got two. And then this is the color I was talking about. Schwarzkopf, I think is the name of it. And it's just dark brown and I really like it. I had a return to Marshall's, so I just kind of found myself in the glass area, like always. <laughs> they had adorable coffee mugs, so many neat things. I have just recently been there, like a week ago, and so everything's all new again, I feel like. They're getting so many new things in for Halloween and fall, including this cute coffee mug. I resisted because I don't need any more. I'm actually getting rid of some coffee mugs. Cute like silverware and plates and just tons of fall-inspired items. Made it back home. I'm gonna unload everything and I'll show you what I got. Not mention going to Dollar Tree today. I didn't film anything in there. I walked in, thought, you know, I should be filming all of the new Halloween and fall decor, but I didn't want to get distracted. So I just went in for a few items. I needed a pack of pencil sharpeners. I swear, we've had so many pencil sharpeners and they disappear. So this is a 12 pack, pretty good deal. And then what else did I get? Oh, my son needed some erasers. He likes these jumbo six pack erasers. And then this is my favorite toothpaste. I have used this for years upon years. I always get it at Dollar Tree. It used to be a dollar, it's a dollar 25 now. So I got two of those just to have on hand. Um, picked up some soaps. I got this strawberry coconut. It actually smells really, really nice. And then I went ahead and got the Shea Buttermilk by Yardley. Um, I walked around a bit just to see what they had and they had some Ortega fajita seasoning uh, mixes so I got four of these and then I don't know I've never tried these I thought what the heck let's go ahead and get them so these were just some Spanish rice uh, pre-made packs here and then I got two containers for my little taco uh, mix that I'm gonna make. Moving into the Aldi haul. So my husband always likes to have French bread in the morning. He always does French bread with queso fresco and pineapple juice. And so I went ahead and picked up the French baguette. These are pretty good. And then I got a bag of the Clancy's tortilla chips. We have a pack of these deli rolls because I'm gonna be making a crock pot dinner very soon and I'm gonna need these. Went ahead and picked up some ground beef sirloin here, 90% lean, 10% fat, probably not the best deal on this, but I was there, went ahead and grabbed it for our taco bake. My son loves anything spicy, so we always have jalapenos or serrano chili peppers on hand, so I got this big pack just to kind of add into sandwiches and into the little taco bake we're making. And then I picked up this chuck roast. This is actually gonna go into my crock pot. That's what the deli rolls are for. And I'm gonna add in some pepperoncinis, which I also picked up at Aldi. Well, I thought I got pepperoncinis, but I ended up with banana peppers. And sorry if you can hear my washing machines going. So this will have to do. So basically the chuck roast is going in with some beef broth and I'm also throwing in some banana peppers apparently some beef broth to that. I'm gonna let it cook on low for about six hours or so, seven hours or so. And then we're gonna shred that up this week on the hoagie rolls and have a little nice, um, yeah, chuck roast sandwich. And that particular recipe did call for garlic powder and I ran out, so I went ahead and got the stone mill. I think these were 99 cents. And we are in no particular order here. I went ahead and picked up a big can of pinto beans because this is gonna go into the taco bake. Next up for the taco bake, we have two cans of the diced tomatoes with green chilies. And I also picked up two cans of the sweet corn uh, to go in each little um, container. Also picked up a huge bag, two pound bag of Mexican style cheese. I think the price on this was $6.99. So I felt like that was a pretty darn good deal. And then I also picked up a big bag of tortillas. We'll see what we use these for, but I felt like this was a great deal too. I think this whole pack was $2.99. 
What I'm doing now is I'm actually writing down all of the recipes because I had them all on note cards and I thought it would be fun just to start a little recipe book um, that I can take with me and really make this a priority to get all of the stuff you know, organized. I really want to have this in one particular place. I don't have to run through looking, looking at all these note cards and just grab it and see what we want to have for, you know, the week and then go to the grocery store. All the instructions are there. And we have a family cookbook that my mom recently gave me and it's got so many neat recipes I want to try. That is going to do it for today's video. I wanted to just insert this cute little video footage of Sugar Bear wagging her tail she found a lizard friend. No lizards were harmed. <laughs> he made it to the other side safely. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you will consider subscribing, take a bar class with me, join me for some chit chats, some hauls, lots of good stuff. All the YouTube things and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.